Alrighty, part two of my battery cable versus welding cable. There we go, they've been sitting for about 14 hours in the jar of diesel. Welding cable's over here, battery cable's on this side. Let's get those suckers out of there and see what we got. Still doing the test with four gauge. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> guess that means it didn't friggin' deteriorate in the diesel, I guess, see? Both seem to be pretty chemical resistant. Let's grab a screwdriver here and give it a couple of pokes. Never mind my messes. I clean up when I'm done. <laughs> Alright, so welding cable. Still pretty hard. Yeah. There's a battery cable. Yeah. In fact, the welding cable is actually still pliable. The battery cable sitting in the diesel is actually rock hard. Completely rock hard. Let's see if we can grab an exacto knife here. And What the wiring looks like on here. I know it's fully exposed, but I'm just gonna cut it right in half. Pulling the camera and trying to do it at the same time ain't working much. There's the wooden cable. Get that all out of there. Cheers. So nice and soft and pliable. Now the battery cable. Oh. Yeah. Sure that lousy view there. Try not to cut my fingers off. Said it's soaking the diesel overnight. That battery cable has become rock friggin' hard. Well, it hasn't become brittle though. Video's looking to be a little longer than I was hoping. I'm trying to hold the camera and do this one handed is not fun. Oh, battery cable has seemed to, uh, the copper inside seems to have pretty much glued itself to the battery cable sheathing.
Like this is insanely stiff. So, um, so what I'm going to do now is take these. I'm going to sit them out in a nice hot 20 degree weather here. Expose them to the sunlight and see what happens to them. Just sitting here and let them dry out. That'll be the next test.